There's a lot of similarities between Lazarus' death and Rusty's death. Lazarus was dead and buried. He had a couple of sisters, and everybody knows that. that and uh, of course, he was all concerned. One was concerned about the, sticking with the customs of the day, make sure everything was all the I was dotted equally, and the, all the T's was crossed just exactly right. And the other sister actually wanted to lay a guilt trip on Jesus because. If Jesus would have been here, Lazarus wouldn't have died. Well, the fact is, he'd been dead and buried and in the tomb for at least about a week. So they debated that, and Jesus came on the scene. He heard the discussion going on, and he said probably something like this, Woman, get a grip. He said, <laughs> and the 25th, he says, You're talking to the giver and the taker of life. You're given to one that raises from the dead and takes life back, you know. And so, whether I've been here or not, isn't a relevant fact. Whether your brother should have lived another five years or not, isn't a relevant fact. None of this is relevant. He said, even though we die just like everybody else has in here, and all of us here will someday, he says, if they believe in me, they're going to live again. Believest thou that? And he said, take comfort in that and forget all this other gobbledygook. And at every memorial service I ever had a part of, especially when you had to be around the family, when he was making details, how they would dialogue on uh, details that really wasn't relevant and gets repeated numerous times. And, and Jesus says, forget it all. If you believe in me, you're going to raise from the dead and don't sweat the small stuff. You're not experiencing anything that the rest of the world hasn't and the rest of the world will not. So... He tells us to take comfort in the fact that if you believe in me, you will rise again. Richard Keith Quinn, the son of Martha and James Quinn, was born February 9, 1956, and he died July the 6th, 2011, at the age of 55 from pulmonary heart disease. He is survived by two sons, Richard Keith Jr. and Justin Jean. Five sisters, Mary Ellen, Carmen, Corrine, Beverly, and Gabe, and one brother, Carl. A host of in-laws, nieces, nephews, aunts, and uncles, and friends. Rusty served our country in the United States Navy. He worked in the Jeep, but I think his greatest pleasures was found enjoying and working in the great out of doors. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and where we at if we aren't in the valley of the shadow of death, as we look all around us, we can see nothing but markers. It goes on to say that because the Lord is with us, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's evident that we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gives and the Lord taketh. We say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your work in the Lord is not in vain. Mm -hmm. Thank you.